第十四对表演的题目是 Doors， 计时开始。Are you too excited about going to Indonesia for the first time? I sure am. And Jeffrey, it's wonderful that you agreed to take us to your hometown. Well, my mom's hometown. I was born in Taiwan, remember? Why don't you see yourself as an Indonesian? I just don't feel connected to that place at all. Anyways, I think it's actually really cool to interview the local residents for a geography assignment. You're right, Nicole. I sure miss reading them in a book. You're making soap? Yes, I want to make soap that smells and feels the most natural. What have you got so far? I think the aroma of tea will give myself a unique scent, but I'm still looking for the texture. I see. It's just too bad that Austin can't come with us. Yeah, I remember Austin is busy helping out his tea barn. No worries, you can talk to him after we return. Please have your last moment. All ready to go? Yes. I will make some have 30 day visa free stay in Indonesia. Yeah. Wait, what? Why do you want to cancel the order? Is it possible for me to hmm. Okay. I understand. I hope to. Long time no see, Jeffrey. Hey, I'm Omar. They're my classmates, Nicole and Zoe. I park the bar. Hi. Make yourselves at home. Thanks. Come help me with the coffee. Sure. <sighs> What's wrong? Another order just got canceled. Never mind. So, how have you been, Jeffrey? Well, I have been a bit lost. I guess I'm looking for something to connect myself to Indonesia. Hmm. Look around. Maybe what you are looking for is just right here. Take these to your friends. Here, try some. Thanks. Thanks. How's the coffee? It sure tastes great. It does, doesn't it? But coffee doesn't sell like before. Here. Thanks. And what am I going to do with this worthless stuff? What can people do with this? I see it used as odor eaters at the restaurant. to make was both tea from Taiwan and coffee ground from Indonesia. So? Wait, it's, it's me. What do you mean? You want people to, you see yourself as a bar of soap? Yes. No, it is what I am of both cultures and what I can do to make both places better. Uncle Omar, is that what you meant? Yes, you're absolutely right. Come. Let me show you where you'll stay tonight. Follow me. I'll be right back. My friends are coming. Hurry up, guys. Hi, Austin. How has your summer been? Hi, Zoe. I've been very busy working at the laboratory of the tea farm. Look. It's coffee grounds from Indonesia. Hmm. Are you sure this is what you want for the texture? Yes. It's just rough enough to skip and perfect to blend with the tea. Sounds great. Hi, Jeffrey. Hey, Austin. Long time no see. Hi, Nicole. Do we have enough pictures for our assignment? Of course. We took tons of them. And our assignment will be an eye-opening experience for everyone. Hmm. Come. Let's go inside the lab and we'll work on our assignment. When you're unsure your place in the world, look inside and you will find you are the one who holds the key. If opportunities do not, build a door. The doors we hold 
in our hands should broaden our horizon so we can see beyond where we are. New South Wales policy opens up doors for cooperation, opportunities, and self-discovery for all. When we open doors, we, we create endless possibilities for to see ourselves. Thank, Thank you. you. New South Bond Policy, a new vision for the new generation. I am a Philippine trader and specializes in selling Taiwanese scooters to Southeast Asia. 20 years ago, I had my child in Taiwan, but in 2030, electric scooters are popular in Taiwan, so the number of traditional scooters are on the decline. What's worse, my business is in trouble. Good, don't worry about it. Let's watch TV and relax. The current government has put forward some policies recently. And I'm curious about the new southbound policy. Can you please explain about it? Well, with the rise of the Asian countries and the importance of new immigrants from Southeast Asia, Taiwan government has launched the new southbound policy to connect with Asian and even India, Australia, and New Zealand in respects of economy, trade, education, and culture. Wow, the government has recently promoted a new policy of southbound investment. Maybe get help our business. Let's call in. Beep, 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 beep. Hello, may I help you? Hello, I have seen the new southbound policy that you are talking about on TV. This is a case. My father has his own scooter business. We want to come by it with the new southbound policy and bring it back to my father's hometown. We are very supportive of young people starting their own business. I can introduce the manufacturer of Google Electric Scooter to help you. Peabody Company Blue! Hello, let me introduce our Google Company. Google Smart Scooter is an electric scooter developed in response to environmental awareness and energy conservation. Its permit of driving license in Taiwan is generally classified as heavy duty electric scooter. Our smart scooter is powered by two Google Smart Batteries in series to achieve the purpose of sustainable management of ecology. Hey, can I work with the Google company to transform my dad's traditional industry into a green one? Yeah, we can set up Google branches in Southeast Asia. Hey, you just met. Set up Google branches in Southeast Asia. Just in line with the package plane expert of our new cell phone policy. Package plan expert? Yes, we can hand over the complete program to the Southeast Asian companies, including equipment, expertise, production, and patent. If you follow the procedure step by step, the success of energy scooters in Taiwan will be completely copied to your country. In this way, you can work together to expand your career in Southeast Asia to create your win-win situation. It sounds very good. But in South Asia, there's a shortage of talents for green energy development, even if we know the production model of Google Oh, our new South Bound policy has a part about talent exchange. What is talent exchange? To achieve talent exchange, the new South Bound policy emphasizes on sure and cultivation of bilateral young scholars, students, and industrial main power. Besides, the policy promotes nurturing the second generation of new residents to become the seeds of the South. Great! I'm a typical child of immigrant residents. It seems like I can get a lot of season through the new summer policy. In other words, I can send my staff to Taiwan so that we can get the talents of eco technology. I think this may be a good idea. We can cooperate with each other. Uh, but, but now, there's a problem. I don't think the scooter market will be expanding only because of our promotion. Uh, is Google implementing a GoShare project in Taiwan? GoShare? What is GoShare? GoShare is an electric scooter sharing service launched by Google. With 24 hour service, users can use the GoShare app to find electric scooters around them when they need to move. Hey! Do you want to bring your GoShare project into the Southeast Asian market? GoShare in Southeast Asia? Right! We can set up the GoShare system there for people who cannot afford to buy a scooter who need to use it. But traditional scooters are popular there now. How to not get a set? Or say, 
how to let them know the eco-friendly electric scooters in Taiwan. Well, why not come by our Gogoro with Grab Food? Grab Food? What is Grab Food? Grab Food is the latest food delivery service in Southeast Asia. Instead of going out, the customers can order and have a delicious meal at home. This is a good idea. Then I think we can come by the electric scooter with Grab Food to deliver food. As a result, our Gogoro electric scooters will be known to more people. Thus, we can expand our Gogoro market. <laughs> Yay! Our oh, plan is so great! Let's do it! Because of a new southbound policy, we can connect with the world and even drive the development of other countries' industries. Taiwan will never be neglected in its international status. Two years later. Yeah, we have a Gogoro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our business is successful. We did it. Thank you for your listening and have a great day. Running Curry. Cheers! The water tastes so good! I'm so proud of the rainwater harvesting system we made for the local people. Me too! This is a, it's a combination of sustainability and human connection. It's a hope for the people. Positive 
relationship with Foxconn policy target countries and to build a mutual prosperity for human beings. That's why we can meet here and become friends, right? Right! We are friends! Yeah, remember you said my granny's curry will be very popular in Taiwan? Alia, I've seen your granny's curry will be popular not only in Taiwan, but also in the world. Really? If my granny's curry can be sold everywhere, we can provide many people with jobs, and we can lead a happy life together. Oh yes, you are really a genius. Since my major is architecture and marketing, allow me to write a project to sell a curry. Since my major is public health, allow me to make sure if a process is secure and healthy. For me, this pot of curry is kind of like a melting pot. You mean my recipe and their clean water? It's a fusion of science and culture. It's the wisdom of the young, the old, and different people. Granny, the curry is like a vision for the new generation. So, that's, that's enough. enough for... Right. Hey. Granny's Curry! Save the environment for the future generation. Hi, I'm Regina Lux, the owner of Lux Developments, and I love to make money. I see a lot of potential in this tiny little island in the Philippines, and I'm going to make it into the most luxurious destination in the world. I'm so excited. Hello, Miss Lux. I'm very pleased to meet you. I've heard you want to invest in the Philippines. What project have you brought to us? I've set my sights on building a resort on this island in Palm Wan. Here are the plans. <gasps> you do know that in 1990, Palm Wan was declared a UNESCO Man and Biosphere Reserve, don't you? It's filled with numerous endemic species and is also known as the last yes, frontier. Yes, yes, <gasps> the last frontier in the Philippines. It's so primitive. Isn't that marvelous? But isn't the point of visiting a primitive island being able to enjoy the, 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 the primitiveness? What utter nonsense. Primitive means that nobody else boiled it before you got there. That's all. Besides, think of all the money I can, I mean, we can make. This project will benefit everyone. Right. I will create a team to evaluate your plan. What kind of team is that? Well, we still need to do some environmental impact studies, so it'll take about like six months to approve. Six months? Okay, I'm looking forward to what you come up with. Six months for an impact study? Time is money! I'm going to start the construction right away. Whoa, the water here is crystal clear. It reminds me of Penghu back home. As an environmental journalist, I must document this amazing paradise. Wait, did you hear that sound? I better call Mr. Ramos. Let's follow that truck to find out what's going on. Whoa, what happened here? The trees have all been chopped down. What are you doing on my site? Get out of my way! Are you constructing something here? Yes, indeed. Hey, you! Why are you taking photos? I work for a Taiwanese newspaper. I want to write a story about this. Newspaper? Stories? <gasps> Wonderful! Please tell everyone that I'm building the most amazing hotel here. Well, well. That's interesting. I'm an environmental consultant from Taiwan. Mr. Ramos hired me to work on resort development, and he's on his way here now. What's, what's going on here? Miss Lux? <laughs> Mr. Ramos, aren't you surprised to see me? Su surprise? Surprise? Surprise doesn't even begin to explain how I feel right now. Shocked and disgust is more like it. You promised me that this project will benefit the island and its people. I don't see how this destruction help anyone but you. <sighs> you know what they say. Nothing if you have no home. Correct. What her policy aims to do is to create
create healthy long-term economic gain while preserving the lifestyle and environment of local people. Investment is more like planting a seed. We want to see something that grows and benefits the people for generations. Exactly. For example, this tiny island is suitable for implementing a microgrid of solar panels, just like we did on Qimei, our own island in Penghu. Taiwan already learned the hard lessons of putting development before environment. We became a rich country, but environment suffered. In 1998, Taiwan passed an environmental protection law, and since then, the government has been encouraging industries to come up with low carbon and sustainable solutions, which we share with the other countries that are part of our new southbound policy. Right! All thanks to a southbound policy, countries like Taiwan can help us in many respects just like what they are doing right now. I see what you mean. Sometimes I get so caught up in my love of money that I don't really think about the future. You're right, I have children too. I don't just want to leave them with a big pile of money. I want them to live in a beautiful world full of beautiful people. Extra, extra, read all about it. Regina Lux, famous developer, finally realized the importance of both environmental protection and international cooperation. Thank you. The first team is Technology, a way to a better life. Let's But you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Why are you doing such a dangerous work here? Because the crops this year is really bad. So I have to find a job to make a little money for food and living. But I see the land here is really fertile. Why would you have such a problem? This is not for you to know, sir. Although we have acres and acres of rich lands in Cambodia, but we're still lack of high quality seedlings and farming machinery. Oh, I see. I think I can fix your problems. Having said that, but how are we going to do this? Our government has just proposed a five flagship projects for a development goal for the new southbound policy. It is to achieve cooperative relations with the country of Southeast Asia, such as your country, to help each other develop and reach the goal of mutual progress and common prosperity. Oh, that's great. But I'm wondering what it'll be like when it is on specific execution. Let me hold on to it first. When a time comes, you eventually understand. Wait, wait! Wait for my good news! Oh, hey, you're here! How's the progress? Nice and smooth, ma'am. My team and I just went censoring people around. We coupled with our recent research, we came up with two major points that indicates the declination in Cambodia's agriculture output value, which is a lack of high quality seedlings and farming machinery. Very well. Now can, we can start designing our fully automatic farming machine. I hope you guys do that. Oh, yes, ma'am. Um, actually, we already acquired information on agricultural land use in this place, and we're ready to set the command programs. Where do you get the information on the land use in Cambodia? Oh, I got them from our former Set 5 satellite, which was launched last year. It has completed digital focus traction to this stage, so it has a high resolution multi spectral image camera. The new infrared imaging, which is more capable on this plane the category of the landscape. This can be the basis for us to set the trajectory of our farming machinery. That's great! Thanks to the NSPR for having such a wonderful information. Let's start doing this right now. Now, let's work on our engineer to introduce our new invention. Hi everyone, this is our newly developed automatic farming machine. It develops the AI technology and machine learning, mainly uses the global positioning system to set the trajectory, and forces it to familiarize with the terrain in a continuous training map. In this way, farmers can complete the process of cultivation with our new invention. Thanks for that. Thank you. With the help from Taiwan, our agricultural labor force can be released and promote industrial transformation. Ms. Dunn. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to you on behalf of the people of Cambodia. Thank you for your kindness to us. You don't need to thank me. Actually, the reason why I came here is because I said
Sudanese of Cambodian people when I first got here as a high school student volunteer. Moreover, it is the spirit of our new southbound policy to achieve the goal of mutual progress and common prosperity. The Industrial Innovation Cooperation and Regional Agricultural Development are among the five flagship plans proposed by our government. After listening to the words of Ms. Leung, I realized that there are such kind people in the world. The people of your country have generous heart and I can feel it deeply. Our whole team wants nothing more than seeing the progress of agriculture in your country but it will draw a new milestone in the history of our team. Now, let's move to the scene to see actual operation. Hey, sir, you're here. It turns out that these farming machines, seedlings, and irrigation equipment are all from you. Now, our agriculture in Cambodia can be sufficient, easy to process, high quality, and rewarding. You see that, little buddy? Last time I caught you was not a quick move. But this time, all Cambodian farmers benefit from our project. Well, by the way, this is the young man that I mentioned to you last time. Our life will change because of your help, from hunger to food and clothing, and save time for agricultural process. As a result, farmers can go to work in the city, exchange precious money to improve their lives, and promote our country's industrial transformation. That's right! After having enough time and money, the kids can finally go back to school. Going back to school is something that we never think about before getting your help. Now we have the angels from Taiwan. Our dreams can finally come true. Education is originally a right that everyone should have. If you're interested, you can join our agricultural team when you grow up. It promotes talent development through innovation and cooperation to create Cambodia's agricultural and economic prosperity. I will use knowledge and technology like you to help others in the future. What's more important is to solve problems through cooperation. That's the true meaning of the new South Bound policy. For the people, from the hearts, let technology create a whole new world. Thank you. The first team's performance is The Shirt Dream of 300 Million.
You sure have a lot of spices at home. The spice combo can help me revitalize my brain cells. Revitalize the brain cells? You know, like star anise. Star anise, a famous spice with distinctive flavor and powerful bioactive compounds which are vital contributors to good health. Right. And then, turmeric. Turmeric, the most effective nutritional supplement. Could you stop and let him talk? Step back. I'm sorry, boss. Thank you. Turmeric contains medicinal properties, and it is even said can help Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's? Dementia? Amma! And then, lemongrass. Lemongrass can help sleep and boost immunity. No wonder you look so energetic all the time. Thank you. And what's this? Oh, that is Titus. I know that, Topia. Drop the bee. Yes, Pam. After I did Thai dance every day, I felt my body coordination improved a lot. Oh, I got it! I can use the spices in the Thai dance to design a new game. And maybe it can even help our mom. Tophia, book the flight tickets back to Taiwan. Yes, the flight ticket book. Good job. Now I finally understand why you could beat me. Thank you for sharing, and we will definitely keep these tips in mind. Thank you so much. I'm so inspired. Alright then, take care kids! Bye. Bye! Several months later... Cambodia, Vietnam, India, etc. 
we can improve our ability on cooperation and gain the capability on to think independently. I've been considering the state of Bihar, one of the neediest states in India. But what are we going to do? What can we do for them? There's an NGO, non-government organization, and it is called Shalabal International Social Service. Oh, the name did sound familiar. I can recall that it's an organization which helps to solve the problem of lacking toilets. The volunteers, including students, will go to the local and help with the construction until it's over, which will usually take around two days. Actually, according to a research done by BBC in the year of 2012, there are more than 870 cases of raping that has happened because of this. And as females ourselves, I think we should try every possible way to solve this problem. And in order to do so, building toilets would be the most realistic way. Well, it sounds more interesting and meaningful than other winter camps. Sharing must be the top priority when solving the issue of country in need. Combining all the information you say, it sounds great. I mean, how about guys? Yes! work 
on this time travel project for several months. Finally, I've come back to the past. Yahoo! Ah, Ow! Watch where you're going. Wait, who are you? Why do you look so much like me? <gasps> are you the future me? Wait, I've been through this before. Ah, this is how I met myself. Wait, what? Oh, wow, that's so cool. Can you tell me about my future? I want to know about everything. Well, what do you want to know? Uh, how's life like in Harvard? I bet you're now a very successful scientist, right? Yeah, about that. I didn't go to Harvard. I went to RMIT instead. Ah, Australia? Nice choice. Actually, it's in Vietnam. Seriously? Out of 204 countries? Why Vietnam? I know that you won't believe me. If you want to know, just hop the time machine and I will show you. to be. 
be just fine. Really? Oh my god! Thank you, doctor! I don't know how to thank you! It's okay. I have to go now. Your brother is extremely lucky. Dr. Nguyen is one of the best doctors in this hospital. He received his medical training in Taiwan. In Taiwan? Really? Yes, and luckily for us, we had all the necessary equipment to perform his surgery, which by the way was also donated by Taiwan. Oh wow, thank you, thank you so much! Two years earlier.
Taiwanese government, I was able to study in Taiwan. Majoring in environmental studies has really sharpened my knowledge in this field. Yes, and now you're the head of energy agency in Malaysia. Yeah, so what are we doing here? Waiting for you. Waiting for me? Yes. What do you mean waiting for me? Did you come to Taiwan to inspect the latest renewable energy technology? Oh, yes, of course. Currently, we are facing some issues in our country and have to visit Taiwan to find alternative to our current energy sources. Congratulations! Taiwan is the right country to visit. I'm the Minister of Environmental Protection in Taiwan. And I'm the Vice Minister. Wow, that's awesome! After the conference, come visit our lab and we will show you our latest prototype. Sure!
by asking her to do complex tasks, giving her unfair treatments, especially forcing her to swallow a dish that contains pork, which violates her religious restrictions. A key line with the owner of Friendly Food. Could you explain the reason why you forced your Muslim employee to eat pork? Do you know that's against the Quran? The Quran? She needs to realize that when in Taiwan, do as the Taiwanese do. Everyone in our company is pork. We're not obligated to provide a customized meal for her. It's all for a company's benefit. Let's hear from the employee and see how she feels about the whole situation. I feel ashamed. The guilt of betraying my own religion makes me sick. I told him I couldn't do that because it goes against my religion, but he didn't care. After coming to Taiwan, I've never been able to enjoy any traditional food. Do you know how badly I want to go to night markets? None of the food has halal certification.
第二十六代表演的题目是《Voyage of Hope》，计时开始。No, no, no! Wait, wait, Professor, I've been working on this project for five months now, and yet nothing's completed. Your dad has also been working on the rebuild for the earthquake for a long time, but we still can't complete anything. You know what? I give up. Wait, what about the Philippines? Get out, Jack! Am I? Thank you. Uh, I am so proud of you. 
As my hometowns recovered, they can make me more bracelets. Huh? Oh, no, no, wait! One, two, three. Thank, Thank you for attention. attention.